Well, the fires look like they're still smoking pretty good. I'm gonna jump on the excavator, go down there, and probably go down to the end right there and restack those stumps and kind of work my way back since the wind is blowing that way. Uh, if I start to fire on this end, I'll be working in the smoke and ashes. So let me go down there and see if I can't stack that up and get that reburning and kind of work on cleaning some more of this up here today. So it looked like everything burnt pretty good except for my big pile of stumps, which is uh, kind of what I figured because you know, they are wet and still full of dirt. I'm going to go and repile those, kind of knock some dirt off of them as I do that. And see if I can't get those to catch back on fire. They're smoking pretty good, so they dried out. Just got to rake through all these ashes and get some stuff back burning. Piled and something will catch back on fire. There's still too much hot stuff here not to catch back up. Just takes a lot of time to pick through it all. through the ashes there and pulled out all the stumps and brush it hadn't burnt on this side and got it restacked and that's burning pretty good right there now kind of pushed through those ashes and dug up some more stumps that were under that and i'm gonna let that calm down a little bit and i go around the other side and just kind of keep pushing it all into a more central pile and dig up the stumps as i find them so i'm gonna let that burn and start working on getting these stumps all the way up to the logging deck right there that I can still see and uh, bring those over here and put those on the fire and let that burn down and 
I guess I'll just kind of start sorting through that later on. I'll probably just let that dry and do that another day because that's that's a lot of mess to go through right there and it being wet. Um, if you pile it up wet, it's going to stay wet. So best thing I can do is just let that sit there and dry and then I can sort through it and make another little burn pile. So working on getting some of these stumps dug up now. Fire's burnt down pretty good. Or is burning down pretty good. Get some more stumps dug out and throw them on there. And repile all that stuff that has not all the way burnt on top of it. That'll keep it nice and hot. And then run around the pile one more time before lunch. And push it up a little bit more. And that'll burn down over lunch. Come back. Repeat the process. And then this is just going to have to dry out before I can rake it. It's just too wet to rake. All it does is just bunch up.
bad about the rain is it makes the dirt sticky and it's hard to get it off the tree stumps. So you've literally got to just take them and I'll just keep chunking them all the way to the fire and knocking off whatever I can, throw them in the fire, let them burn, then take them out, drop them around some more, the dirt will be dry then and most of the time it falls right off. So I could not have asked for this stuff to have burnt better on this end of the pile. It didn't have all that dirt stuff pushed in with it. So as it burnt down, pretty much there's a few inch layer of ashes, three to six inches, I would say. And then the tops of the stumps that were covered up are all exposed. So I can just kind of dig through here and get the stumps and what little bit of ash is left just kind of mix that in with the dirt and that gets rid of that so when it's pure clean brush you really don't end up with a lot of a lot of ashes it's when you start raking up all the underbrush junk and roots and stumps stumps are the worst because they have so much dirt on them i don't care how much you sit there and try to knock the dirt off it still adds up. So I'm throwing this over here and putting all that into the uh, burn pit. Spread this back out. And whenever I rake through all this with the dozer, I'll rake over this. Whatever's left out. And then I'm grabbing this stuff taking it over there to the burn pit putting it in there I'm, not, I'm trying not to add too much more to that because the uh, ash pile is getting kind of big as it is so the less I add to it the less amount of stuff I have to deal with pile it over here into the pit and not have to mess with the ashes again because they are in the ground. Grab a couple stumps I dig up and repeat the process. Move a little bit of brush, dig up some stumps, come throw it into the burn pit and repeat.
I hit another stump. Let's see if I can find it. I think it's right here. Right there.
real close. Okay. So if, you, if you push that one out, it should help. Right. Oh, I see what's happening. It's shifting. Ah, okay. Hold on. It's what? Like, um, just pull that one that way. So that went uh, really good. So got a 20 inch extension on top of the rake. I didn't want it on top of the blade just because it does limit your visibility if you did, you know, put a solid plate on the back of it. So just had it welded to the rake itself and then still get the uh, pins in and out. Got these angled just a little bit. So if something does come, it may kind of divert it off a little bit. Oh yeah, gonna throw some paint on it. Call it good. And there we have it. The new guard extension on the dozer. Got it all painted. It'll last till I push brush with it. So hopefully that'll keep stuff from coming. Everything seemed like it'd get to right here and would roll over the blade. So I'm hoping that'll keep stuff from falling over the blade and getting hung up. And you see it's taking a toll on my paint but uh i'm really more worried about stuff it's very aggravating when it gets uh hung up over the blade here and trying to get that out so from everything i've seen pushing it really doesn't get up much higher than that couldn't do too much more because when you back drag and the rake tilts i didn't want it to hit the front of the dozer so i think uh all in all that's going to work just fine and dandy so i'm gonna go stack the fires up one more time and call it a day so another good day today. Got uh, all that restacked and burnt. All that is cleaned up and stumped around the burn piles. Pretty much everything is stumped in that area. And for the most part burnt. I just have this corner right here. And then a little bit more up front. So I'll probably just do another burn pile right there. And we got the guards guard welded onto the dozer. So I'm gonna call it a day and come back another time. <laughs>